we just got an update on the up and coming season five and a mid season update for season four let's get right to it as you can see pez radar adam fletcher from diablo 4 dev team the communication director posted on x we wanted to provide some updates on the mid-season update for season four and season five ptr yes you heard it right guys there's going to be a ptr for season five now here is what pez radar communicated hello wanderers we first want to start by thanking everyone for jumping into season four and experiencing the revamp system and introduced with loot reborn we are also thrilled to see the excitement around vessel of hatred where we announced the release date of October 8th this past weekend at the Xbox Showcase. We're excited to share more as we head toward launch, and you can all expect more information on July 18th when we do a deep dive into the Spirit Born class coming with the expansion. We want to take some time to provide some clarity and update on a flurry of things heading to Diablo 4 in the upcoming weeks. The next update hitting Season 4 will be our mid-season patch, as you all know, mid-season patches include a ton of significant updates to the game related to class, balance, and more. We will be releasing patch notes for the mid-season update patch 1.4.3 this coming Friday, June 14th, and we'll be releasing the update sometime next week. Typically, we host a live stream for our mid-season update, but we instead will be hosting a separate live stream next week on Friday, June 21st, to talk about the next season in our season five PTR campfire chat. We will have more information on that soon. Originally, we had our mid season update coming after this PTR concluded, but we agreed releasing the mid season update prior to the PTR would be easier for all our players. Why is that? Well, the season five PTR would have some of the thing, some of these changes coming with the mid season update, and we didn't want to create any type of whiplash for players as they go from finishing the PTR back to season four. Due to this, we believe delivering the mid-season update sooner will be the best for everyone. As you can see, there is a ton going on in the world of Sanctuary. We look forward to sharing more in the upcoming weeks and we'll have more information on season five PTR, including the stream times and more next week. Okay, well, man, there is a flurry like Pez Radar said, of stuff happening. So we have a mid-season patch update coming and we have confirmation that there's once again going to be a PTR for season five. So if the live stream is going to happen for the PTR on June 21st and season four ends August 6th, that is one, two, three, four, five, seven weeks between the live stream and the end of season four, beginning of season five, seven weeks. So they potentially could be launching the PTR the week of June 24th. Sometime in that week, we'll have testing for one week, which takes us into the first week of July and it basically gives them four weeks or so, give or take, of receiving the feedback and tweaking what they need to tweak or what they think is important to tweak. And then August 6th, season five, uh, season four and season five starts. So that's kind of the time frame of the PTR and the mid-season update. So potential PTR testing for season five literally in a couple of weeks. That's what's happening from the communication from Pez Radar. Now, what's gonna be interesting is what, if any, regarding class balances, and what are we gonna be testing in the PTR for season five? This is going to be the question. A lot of people are talking about the fact that they're gonna be introducing an armory into the game, but I, personally i'm trying to think of as far as what we are going to be testing in the ptr for season five i'm trying to think of the natural progression from season five to the vessel of hatred and if you watched my last video i got into a really big deep dive into the data mine leak that revealed a lot of the details that's going to potentially be coming in the vessel of hatred 
So with that in mind, I am potentially suggesting that our PTR testing will have to do with the data mine leak that ruin words are coming in to Diablo 4 in the Vessel of Hatred in some sort of fashion. Now, we started discussing this on my live stream and people mentioned that their the ruin words are not going to be traditionally like how we use them in Diablo 2, but more like how we use the skills on the Seneschal, like the gems and the powers and all that kind of stuff. And that, that kind of correlates with how the ruin words were described in the data mine leak with certain types of effects and buffs that these ruin words would have in Diablo 4. So I am suggesting a possibility that maybe that's what we're going to be testing in the PTR, how these ruin words work in Diablo 4 now for the Vessel of Hatred. That is potentially something, and I see that as a natural progression, and it'll do two things. Number one, it'll confirm that they're going to be in the game, and you got to admit, this is going to create some hype for the Vessel of Hatred. And again, I suggest to you that the, uh, Blizzard is going to be on this path of obviously promoting the Vessel of Hatred because they want people, more and more people, to buy it. Now, I hope the reaction and the feedback from this testing, if and indeed we are going to be testing ruined words, is not going to get the same reaction that the Seneschal got. Um, I hope not. But anyway, time will tell. Anyway, great news, guys. We're getting a mid-season patch update. We're having a live stream on June 21st, which Blizzard is going to review and reveal the PTR testing announcement coming. Uh, we don't know when the PTR, but they're going to give us details on the 21st. And then, of course, on July 15th, I believe is the date, they're going to do the uh, new class, the Spirit Born reveal as well. So there's a lot happening, a lot happening in Diablo 4. So uh, interesting times. And look, the fact that we're getting a PTR for Season 5 can only mean good things because... What's the point of having a PTR if there's nothing to test? So we're getting some more content in Season 5. I got to admit, I'm a little bit surprised. I thought it was going to be a throwaway season because it's also a shortened season. Uh, however, that's not the case. So that's good news, good news, good news. Anyway, let me know what you think. Just wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on. We'll keep you posted as things come out. And... A lot of you are watching my content and yet still do not subscribe to my channel. If you could please subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell to get notified when I drop content. It would mean the world to me. I would appreciate the support. We want to get bigger and better. And we got a lot of things to do in this channel. So I would appreciate your support. If you could subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And for those of you that love to debate the heck out of me, Come and check me out on Sammy Caps on Twitch. Channel name is Sammy Caps. Like I said, I stream every evening Eastern Standard Time around 7, 7.30 p.m. is when I go live around there. I would love to have you get into a discussion or talk whatever you want to talk. Uh, we talk everything uh, on our live streams. We'd love to have you. We're a cool, cool bunch of people and a chill environment. We'd love to have you. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in Sanctuary. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.